seconds. LCDR, countdown limit conditions, T minus 60 seconds on. On. Forty-five seconds. CLCDR, LC-17B, launch enable flight. Flight. ATC-3, main power disable on momentary. 100% locks. 35 seconds. Hydraulics go. 30, 30 seconds. seconds. Pad water system is now on. T minus 15 seconds. Launch vehicle nigh armed. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4. Go for main engine start. 3, 2, 1, 0. And liftoff of the Delta II rocket with stereo, giving us a three dimensional look at the physics of our sun. And the vehicle is working its way through the liftoff lift off transients. Telemotor chamber pressure is all looking symmetrical. Main engine and vernier, verniers continue to do well. Passing T plus 30 seconds, approaching Mach 1. We've exceeded Mach 1. Solid motors are starting to taper off as expected. Vehicle steering and controls looking good. We have passed max Q and controls are still good. All solid motors starting to taper off, approaching burnout. We're now passing an altitude of six miles. Burnout is achieved and there's jettison and air start ignition. We have three good air start motors and all six ground start motors have jettisoned. See a nominal level of disturbance on the roll rate as uh, the solid motors have jettisoned. And the vehicles recovered nicely from that jettison. Altitude now 14 miles, downrange distance 32 with a velocity of over 3,000 miles per hour. Controls are starting to settle down now. Our vernier and main engine pressures are still good. We've passed the solid motor peak chamber pressure, starting to settle down. T plus 115 seconds. Vehicle telemetry looking good. Vehicle performance is nominal. Vehicle now passing an altitude of 27 miles. Air start motors have burned out and jettisoned. All three air start solid motors have jettisoned. We see a normal response from the vehicle control. Coming up on T plus 150 seconds. Vehicles now 30 six miles altitude, downrange distance 100 miles, and a velocity of over 6,000 miles per hour. Main engine and verniers continue to do well. Controls have settled down quite a bit as expected as we enter the thin atmosphere. We just passed T plus 180 seconds. First stage still performing well. We're listening to Boeing Telemetry Manager Main Mark Levine. engine and verniers continue to burn well. Now passing an altitude of 50 miles, downrange distance 185 miles, and a velocity of 8,500 miles per hour. We have a good acceleration profile. Coming up on T plus 230 seconds. We have a range liftoff time reported at 0052. 
zero zero point three three nine. That's zero zero hours, fifty two minutes, zero zero seconds, point three three nine. Our next event will be a Miko coming up in just a few seconds. Vehicle altitude now passing 62 miles. We have main engine cutoff. Verniers are still burning well. And Vico. First stage is shut down on command, and we have one, two, set. Separated the stages and ignited the second stage. Chamber pressure's up. And the fairing has unlatched and jettisoned. Looks like a clean jettison of our 10-foot fairing. We've reached the uh, helium reg blowdown phase of second stage operation, seeing a normal decay in helium reg pressure. Moments away from SECO. We're at 93.8 miles altitude. Seco. We have a nominal Seco event, and our hydraulic pump did switch off on command. Normal bleed down there. And we've made it to orbit. Our uh, usual data dropouts at the beginning of the pass. Yes, it looks like good quality data now coming in. We're locked up. Hydraulic pump is switched on. Knowledge jets have been confirmed. Hydro uh, hydraulic pressure up. And ignition. All the jets did switch off at ignition as commanded. This will be a uh, burn time of about 98 seconds to raise the apogee, and our thrust chamber pressure is looking good. Our body rates have uh, settled down after the transients of the restart. Love uh, good nitrogen pressure, and we're seeing a normal, uh, very minimal decay on thr thrust chamber as we consume helium. And we've just come up on T plus 1,000 seconds into the mission. We have about 30 more seconds of this burn. Vehicle data is still looking good. Very clean data from OTB. We've had SECO and hydraulic pump shutdown. Hydraulic pump, uh, rather hydraulic pressure bleed down looks nominal. Half a minute About now. About 20 seconds to go before expected spacecraft separation. Still looking at very nominal data and very clean data from the third stage. Getting very close. And we've deployed our yo weight and spacecraft separation. We have despun the stage and confirmed spacecraft separation. <laughs> 